Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I suppose I should begin. I welcome the wise decision made uh, less than 24 hours ago by President Suharto in Indonesia. It now gives the Indonesian people a chance to come together to build a stable democracy for the 21st century. I hope that the leaders will now move forward promptly. The United States stands ready to work as we have with other nations in the past to support Indonesia's leaders and people as they pursue democratic reform. First time ever, a majority of the world's people living under governments of their own. Some process similar to what was done in El Salvador. Are there any concrete plan? Military, and the third time, economic reform. I think we've made quite clear that we do not believe that this drama has fully unfolded yet, and we, have ur we are urging maximum restraint on the part of the military, and we're urging in the political process uh, that the, the maximum uh, extent possible, there is dialogue with all elements of society, that the transition is in as inclusive as possible. But we are not going to make judgments at this point, at this delicate juncture in this democratic ch transition as to what precise remedy uh, would best serve the interest of the Indonesian people. Exacerbated the current economic problems and led to political instability. The IMF reform program was a response to the economic crisis, not a cause. The IMF program did include difficult measures. We have begun to directly feel the impact of this crisis. We have so far avoided the type of continuing downward spiral that some feared. There was and is, however, as the Secretary has just pointed out, a small but not negligible probability that the upset in East Asia could have unexpectedly large negative effects on Japan, Latin America, and Eastern and Central Europe that in turn could have repercussions elsewhere, including the United States. Thus, while the probability of such an outcome may be small, it's consequently now, even as we work to improve the IMF and strengthen the international financial architecture.